The idea for this month's groove came from longtime fan and friend of the channel, Drew Sparks Whitworth, who suggested we do a Stuart Copeland song. When I thought back, I was surprised that we hadn't yet done a Stuart Copeland groove. I think the reason is that I designed Groove of the Month to focus on things that don't normally come up when I teach. It's an interesting side path or an unexpected jump off point to a new subject. Stuart Copeland happens to be one of my favorite drummers, and he had a very different approach to the instrument, and thus I find his perspective very important, and I bring him up to almost all of my students. Thus, he didn't get a groove. A lot of Copeland's playing has to do with the variance and improvisational nuance, and thus would be more at home in a style and analysis kind of video than a groove of the month. However, I think Can't Stand Losing You is a great example of his different approach codified into a repetitive groove. The main verse is essentially a one-measure groove with running hi-hat eighth notes. Kicks happen on counts one and and two. This leaves the listener without a definite foundation for the one. There is only one snare hit on count four. Along with the snare is a tom hit. Copeland moves this around the kick. It could be any tom, although it mostly falls as an alternation between a higher pitch to a lower pitch. There is a slight hi-hat opening on four and closing on the one. It's the kind of opening you get from shifting your weight off your hi-hat leg more than fully opening the hi-hat. There are a lot of cool other elements to the song, too. The uncharacteristic quarter note rock pre-chorus, the second measure stress in the two measure chorus, the third verse variation, and more. All of this makes it a great part song for students who are new to the concept. Make sure to check the playthrough linked in the description below for the whole tune. What would you have for Groove of the Month? Leave a comment below or send us a tweet at Musicians Notes with the hashtag GOTM. Remember, if you want to see a playthrough of the entire song, there's a link in the description below. If you want to play along with our previous Grooves of the Month, you can do so with our Spotify playlist, also linked in the description below. This time around, I'd like to ask you to like this video if a style on analysis of Stuart Copeland is something you'd like to see. Other than that, make sure to comment and subscribe. All that stuff. Let's hit it.